this is a quick tutorial where I'll show you how you can connect your DSLR camera uh, with an Android device so uh, to start with what you will need first is uh, a DSLR camera for the purpose of this video I am using a Canon EOS 700D uh, then you will need an Android device I am uh, having a Sony Xperia Z3 compact with me uh, other thing you will need is the cable USB connector cable which comes with your uh, DSLR camera so uh, when you purchase a DSLR camera this cable comes with it so uh, the purpose of this cable is to connect uh, this camera directly to a uh, PC or Mac system the next item which uh, you need to buy is this a USB OTG cable so this cable has two ends uh, one is this one where you can connect uh, the USB end of your a cable which came with your camera and the other end is the one which will go into the uh, it, it is a micro USB slot which will go into your uh, phone's connecting portal uh, port so for uh, before proceeding further uh, we'll also need few apps which can detect that there is a DSLR camera connected so when I searched on internet I found few apps uh, which uh, I browsed across multiple apps uh, but few which I found to be working uh, pretty well were uh, uh, this is DSLR uh, remote camera remote control the other ca uh, app was Helicon remote and one more was a remote release so, uh, so uh, in the video uh, in uh, below the video in the description I have given links to all these apps so uh, you can try with any of these apps some are paid and some are free to use so you can try with any of these and uh, like uh, whichever works the best for you you can go ahead with it so uh, there are multiple features within this, uh, these apps so I'll give you an overview of that once I connect uh, this camera to this Android device so uh, let's start with connecting uh, both together so uh, I'll, I need to connect my USB cable which came with camera on this port which is uh, on this side of my DSLR so it will go here so this is connected and I have the screen open so I'll switch on my camera and I'll remove the lens cap so if I move it to live view so you can see uh, the camera is connected now uh, and is on so what I'll do is I'll uh, uh, this is the USB end of the cable uh, which came with camera so I'll connect it to this OTG cable so now it is connected uh, now this is the part uh, this is the port which you need to connect to your Android device so I'll connect it to my Android device here so now both are connected and what I'll do is I'll uh, I think my camera went into standby mode so let me just bring it back online so uh, like uh, some apps uh, by default they associate themselves uh, with the uh, with the, your Android system so they'll detect whenever there is a new uh, camera connected so if you see it has picked up that Canon EOS 700D is connected and it is showing me all the settings which are there on the I, I have the camera set on manual mode so if uh, the aperture values uh, the, uh, the ISO readings and the shutter uh, speed all are showing here which which is which are exactly the same as what you see here so and if I click on this so you will see that the photograph was clicked and captured and you can see that the photo is coming here so this uh, this is one of the app which is working so I'll go I'll try with some other app like this is DSLR remote control so okay use the default for this okay so it is uh, uh, asking me if I want this app to be default so I'll just cancel it for now and it is telling me that uh, the trial period has expired so probably I won't be able to use it any further so no issues I'll use it I'll try with the other one Helicon remote so this, this is the Helicon remote app so as you see when, once I have connected it shows me that uh, there is a device connected and it is showing me all the readings which are there and it is also the best part is that it is also showing me a live view so as you can see just uh, yeah so as you can see now so let me 
Big Houston. So value a bit so that things are a bit more clear here. So I'll move the ISO to 400. So you can see that it is and it is showing me the live view right now. So as it, and if I want, I can uh, put, uh, I can focus to a point. I can, um, I can also take a picture directly from here. So it just took one picture, and it is showing me that uh, the picture was taken. So it is showing me the preview of the picture. And if I want, I can close this and I can remove these pictures also. So this is a more extensive app. It provides you with a lot of features. Uh, so depending on what are your requirements and what type of shooting you want or uh, if you're uh, what type of app you're comfortable with you can go with the one which best suits you so i hope you enjoyed this uh, short tutorial and uh, if you have any comments or thoughts you can leave it uh, in the comments below thank you